X. Say hi. You need a haircut. You need a haircut really bad. You know what? Yes. Oh, thank you. <sighs> hi, folks. Dave with DBS Tech Talk. And today we're going to do a small talk about changes in technology. Uh, this has been happening for a couple of years and unfortunately it's going to probably really impact over the next two. Um, and that is dongles. Do you have a phone that no longer has a headphone jack? Yeah, so you got one of these little doohickeys, a dongle. More than likely, you need one of these. And I'll explain the difference. Um, I had an LG V30, had a headphone jack, worked great with in-ear monitors and regular, <clears throat> excuse me, earphones. And then uh, it started to go sour on me. I had to replace my LG V30 and I didn't want to get the V40 for various reasons. Didn't want to get Samsung for even more reasons. And those were about the only two phones that were available to me that provided a headphone jack with their, with their, um, with their phone. Unless I went back to previous models and, and I, I wanted the, the most current. Um, so I started looking around at what was available to me through T-Mobile as I'm a T-Mobile customer. And uh, the phone that appealed to me was the OnePlus 6T. And so um, I proceeded to replace my V30 with the 6T. Overall, it's been a great transition. Um, minus doesn't have a headphone jack. And so I have to use a dongle. I don't want to do any reviews of phones. If you want to review of phones, there are a plethora of them out available online. This is a review about something that doesn't get discussed as much, and that's a dongle. So the OnePlus comes with dongle. I was so excited to try out dongle music. You know, what's the difference between it? Uh, I'm not really a Bluetooth guy. I do have a couple Bluetooth items, but I prefer wires. I guess I'm, I'm still old fashioned. Uh, I, I still believe that wired connection does sound the best. And um, the so um, I got out my dongle, got out my in-ears and proceeded to try them out and straight out of the box. Um, it sounds like trash. This thing is so terrible um, compared to. Uh, uh, aligned with the one plus's DAC and amp that are on the on the phone itself um it's it's bright sibilant um does not sound good at all compared to what i have which are the advanced at least the s2000s the gt3s uh the rha cl750 and the mccall gt600 pro and so i was really disappointed at the sound of this it was um, glary, shimmery, bright, sounded like, sounded like something that I had heard from a phone four or five years ago. And so I was really disappointed. Um, of course I've been kind of spoiled having the LG. So I went on the advanced website, um, cause I was in the middle of doing my review for the GT3 and I saw this, which is the advanced access port light and it's a DAC amp dongle for USB-C. It does 24192 high res and I was like $30. Here you go. And so I proceeded to um, purchase it and <laughs> now I can use my phone to listen to in-ears. The OnePlus is um, fairly decently built, nice small USB-C and a light cable that's flexi and then the 3.5, which is a nice and it goes into red and white color for um, 
one plus but the access port has a more chunky uh adapter for the USB C. so if you have a case on your phone um it will be a little bit harder to get in and then the wire is stiffer but thicker way better quality than the one that's on the one plus and the 3.5 feels more uh, durable and just high quality harder like polycarbonate plastic whereas on the one plus dongle it just feels like cheap plastic if i stepped on it, it was going to break this one feels like it'd be a little durable if it dropped and had some pressure put on it um overall the sound on this is a little bit leaning towards the warmer side it's not the um cleanest most analytical sound which actually is good compared to the uh, DAC that's in the OnePlus is so bright coming out of it anyways probably having a DAC that was a little bit on the more bright side wouldn't help um, so this has a little bit of a colorization to the sound it is a little bit on the warmer side a um, little bit mid forward uh, the the base is it got a nice impact and thump to it and it it's not super extended and the treble does have roll off a little bit towards the top so you don't get a whole lot of shimmer and stuff like that but it mellows out the treble um especially compared to these these things it's like having knives in your ear whereas this is 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 a nice more mellow sound if you have headphones that are on the warmer side or bass heavy side to begin with this will make them um really really heavy uh, in that area almost muddy sounding so just be aware of that uh, if you have headphones that tend to be a little bit more bright um, grotto sr325 so uh, or the hd 700 uh, this pushes them and um, pushes the 325s a lot better the 700 has struggled to push a little bit but um, it'll mellow out those troubles um, somewhat so dongles definitely make a difference and um, this does work with other products it doesn't just work with um, my one plus it works with my cyan n3 um, anything that has a USB-C is pretty compatible uh, advanced does have uh, quite a few phones listed um, on their website so you may want to check that to see if your phone is compatible but for the most part i have not had an issue connecting this to whatever USB C excuse me uh products that i have so the advanced access port light give it a shot it'll vastly improve your dongle issue I know that there's other ones out there. I haven't reached out or um, been contacted or purchased any of the other more expensive ones. Um, may do that in the future, not sure. But um, curious to see if any of you have had any experiences with some DAC amps, uh, USB-Cs um, that have improved your from your stock form from what you got with your phone or your other products. So. Dongle world, gotta love it. But dongles do make a difference. This has been Dave with DBS Tech Talk, and I'll catch you in the next video.